Alright. What we're doing here is found this down cedar log and uh, the bugs are absolutely terrible right now this time of year. But anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna use my left hand to carry the uh, tripod because well it doesn't count. But what I'm planning is my left arm is out of commission right now, pretending to be anyway. And we're gonna see if we can start a bow drill fire using one arm, this log, and a saw, a knife, and a piece of bank line. So I'm gonna use my left arm some to help filming, but it's not going to uh, saw or anything. Come up a little bit. Cut this off. Right. Thinking right there, that section. You have no idea how bad the bugs are. It's terrible. Get this mosquito net on. Sorry. It's kind of hard to film with one hand. I'm gonna be sweaty, but it wore long sleeves so the bugs wouldn't kill me. Oh my gosh. They're absolutely terrible though. They're biting my hands. I should have worn gloves. the whole process not just little snippets so it might get boring but it's all gonna be real Come down a little bit, snipper off right there. Probably gonna go to a field because this is like a Michigan swamp and the bugs are absolutely horrible because this is like where they breed. They're swarming around me. I usually never wear a mosquito net, but I have to today. How close are we? All right, still got some. Don't want it to get wet, but if it does, it's not the end of the world. Just cut another piece, or I could still use it. Oh, but, yeah. That works. It's a little bit damp. That's okay. We can live with it. Put the saw back. My saw sheath. And I have a neck knife. A Mora. What other kind of neck knives are there? Just kidding. Alright. So I'm going to move into like a more open area where there's more sun because the bugs kind of care about the sun a little more than uh, a little more than anything else. I could start a fire, which is what I'm eventually going to do, but 
obviously. <laughs> Not done yet. I'm gonna grab. I grabbed some of that cedar bark. Um, I should carry it with this hand to make it more real. And then carrying it around in my left arm with the tripod. But all right, see that? I'm gonna try and shred that up for tinder. And we're going. We're going. Um, like I said, this is actually a really mucky area, so my feet are probably going to get a little wet, which is definitely not great for bugs eating me alive, but also for friction fire, like that, but we're just going to have to deal with it and dry them off best we can. But yeah, found this area in this open field by my house and the bugs aren't too dang bad because it's a little bit sunny. Like I said, I'm using my left hand to film, but not to uh, assist in anything else. Um, I'm going to take a walk, try and find some more resources, uh, some more tinder, but I thought I heard something moving over here. I don't know, gone now. Probably a rabbit. Or a snake maybe, I don't know. Small gardener snake. I don't care. But yeah. We're gonna take a walk, see if we can find some more tinder. And yeah. I'll get back to you. Okay. I have found found this river birch. <coughs> Sneezing. Bugs are terrible. And I'm taking a lot of the bark. Showing the entire process, tinder gathering, everything. I'm not using any pre-gathered tinder. Um, this is actually a birch tree in my yard, but I figure why waste the ones in the woods? Because if I'm out there, and I need tinder. I'll use those. But yeah, for video's sake, demonstration's sake, we'll just use this birch. I know there are birches out there. I see them. I pass them. I'll show you one sometime. Oh my gosh, the bugs are attacking my hands, my exposed hands, and it sucks. But welcome to Michigan. <sighs> Cramming this all in my shirt pocket. Probably fill up two of those. That's why I like shirt pockets. Everyone has to. I mean, no one wears collared shirts in the woods anymore. I do. Because of the pockets. And you can pop the collar. Um, use it with the mosquito net, you know. Help keep the bugs out. Oh my gosh. So many bugs. You would not believe it. This is the worst year I think we've ever had. You don't want to take too much. Just the excess, you know. You know. Don't kill the tree. Just take enough. Um, I hear somewhere that the plantain plant helps relieve itching. So I'll definitely have to gather some of that up if I see any. Um, Okay, I think we got a fair bit of that. Now we're going to go over to these spruce trees, break off some of the branches. Use them. Just as easily use weeds if we had to, but these are just right here, so I'm going to take advantage of them. And, yeah. I'm not going to make a huge fire, just enough to uh, be sustainable. Oh my gosh. This stick is caught in my mosquito net. <sighs> this is my view through the mosquito net. But yeah. <sighs> so many bugs. Okay, I think we got enough of those. Come on. Dirty sucker. 
There we go. <laughs> Carrying that with only the right hand, but my left hand is getting destroyed by mosquitoes. Don't know what happened there. Tree. Um, and then we're going to walk over here. We had some storm damage. And there's this cherry tree just hanging. So I'm going to cut off a piece of that to use in this process. Set those there. Using only one hand. Like I said, it might be boring, but it's going to be real. So, you know, take it or leave it. I actually already cut off the end with an axe, but it could have just as easily done storm damage. Actually, it was, but I cut off the end as you, you can see firewood. Um, that's, this isn't going to be easy. But cherry is a hardwood. And, you know, I could just get a piece of firewood that I cut earlier and tell you that I cut it in the field, which would be a lie, but it would be a lot easier. But this is reality. So, oh my gosh, bugs are attacking my ankles. I'll show you how we're doing this here. I'm putting one foot up there and bracing it because this is a pull saw, so most of the force is on the pull stroke, most of the cutting is done there, oh my gosh, this is taking a long time, hopefully I cut it to the right length, oh my gosh, I need some plantain right now. What is that doing? And it won't come down either. So, reality television or uh, reality YouTube vision. Nope. Didn't want to come down. Alright, well. It's not coming down, so I guess I'm gonna have to continue with my endeavors. Um, down. I can't see them more. Always using my right hand. Like I said, this is on the border of my yard because I'm just right here. I could walk two miles in the woods and with another one, but you know, if I restore some woods, why would I do that? Gosh, it's just. I can pass. Might be a little easier, but I don't. So, yeah. Catch that knot on that other ground fall piece. No idea how hard this is. Yeah, of course, it's Oh my gosh. I think you can see all these mosquitoes. Yes, I sure can. And they suck. Thank God. Whatever. Thank God. Okay, so. Oop. This is so much harder with one hand. Put the saw back. Take our wood, take our spruce, take our camera, and mosey on over to the field. Okay, so here we are. Put my arm in my string. I'll use it only for filming. None of this crap. Um, but yeah. I'm going to try and break down the cedar a little bit, maybe. That'll be my rough stuff, and then I think it'll be good on the birch. Just using that for the fine tinder. Could get some flash tinder, but I haven't seen any milkweed or cattail around here, so... It's not reality, is it? You know what? It's just it's barely worth it. This is not working with one hand, man. Right. Put the fine stuff inside that. And, yeah.
This is Birch Park. Scraping it with the knife blade. Everyone knows about this, everyone should know about this. In the bush community anyway. Um, yeah. I'll fast forward.
right. The reason I'm splitting open this cedar log is to get to the dry wood on the inside. It would be much easier to just saw off a stick of the right diameter for this, but you're just taking your chances because it rained a few days ago and there could still be moisture in that stick. I mean, there's a chance that it could have detrimental effects to your bow drill set. So, I mean, it's harder this way, but I just, I feel better about it because if you're going to put all that work into something, might as well work out in the end. I mean, you want to guarantee you have the best chance for lighting a fire possible. So, that was my logic. Would this be easier? Oh my gosh, don't fall on the tin Oh man, the bugs. I want to cry. It's so hard. Living. It is swarming me. I hope you can see this. This is not fun. It's not funny either. But you can laugh at me. Because I can't see you and I don't know where you live. Just kidding. Obviously. I'm always kidding. Alright. So. I'll just slip that up in there. Almost. Have it. Dang. Really sticks. I keep wanting to grab it with my left hand, as you can probably tell. But I will not. I hope you can see all these bugs. Sorry, my rage at the bugs. Yeah. What kind of idiot goes out in the woods? Let's eat it. <laughs> the hand is killing me because of all the bugs. This is the worst I've ever seen them, guys. Michigan bugs. Probably not as bad as Canada or Minnesota or somewhere like that, but, you know. So I finished the spindle, and, the, oh, my back. Yeah, that looks like it should work. That's about the right level of tightness that I like. So I have the bow, I have the spindle, and now I'm going to start carving out the hearth board. So it should be relatively easy. Just hope I don't get killed by the bugs again, which I will definitely. All right, everyone. The key here, I mean, in any bow drill situation, is just to you have to sharpen the tip of the bow of the spindle that's going to ride in the hearth and likewise you have to make a little depression in one area more than in any other area of the little hole you create for the spindle to ride in. I find that works best because it anchors it into position and everything is everything is centered if you make the tip in the center of the spindle. Also, um, cutting the notch. You want to cut the notch after you burn in the set, but you don't want to burn the set in too much because, as you can probably see, it's wearing away at the top of the spindle. And my spindle is not that long, but I'm okay with that because I just 
I only need one fire. So it is wearing away relatively quickly, but that's a chance I just had to take. I have more wood available, and I could always use that. But cutting the notch, you want to make two 45 degree angles on equal, an equal distance apart on either side of the hole in the hearth board and you just want to cut in a little past the edge of the black part, the hole, and you want to cut in a little bit, just a little more into the center, almost to center. That's how I do it. I just cut in almost to the center of the hole and that seems to have the best results for me. Sometimes I cut in to the center of the hole with hand drill, but that's hand drill. So, and another thing, you have to bevel the bottom to create the airflow. Bevel the bottom of the notch so that it creates, well, one, more dust area, area for more dust so you get a bigger coal, but two, it's for airflow mostly. I mean, some of it's going to fill up with dust, like I said, but it's mostly for airflow. So, yeah. All right, go home and try this. No, no, no. It's all you.
Drop my hunt here. Just Chris getting mad. You'd get mad too. And I'm not really mad. I'm just frustrated. We're trying her again. No rush. We got all the time in the world. Until I die. I mean, she's patient. These dang bugs making me want to cry. I'm a man. I'm a Everything perfect. Nothing's ever perfect, but we want to get it as perfect as we can. Dear God, if this keeps up, I'm gonna go crazy. Kill me. Just kill me. Right now, right here. Take that knife. Cut my head off. Two in my head, like those raccoons I trip. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Right, we burned her in a little. And now it's time to cut the notch. I hope you can see all these uh, bugs because it's uh, killing me. All we got to do now is cut the notch and then we're home free. Let's screw up the notch. Sorry about that. The film got cut off because the camera only records for 29 seconds straight and then, or 29 minutes straight, and then I got to press the button again. But I haven't even cut the notch yet, so there's no way I've cheated. Let me make sure that's in focus on everything. Okay. There's almost no sun here anymore. So that should give you an idea of the time that has elapsed since I went out in the woods. This was a sunny patch.
Okay, that might be a little. Oh man, that might be a little wide. But we're gonna try her and see where the heck we get. Okay, done that. Now we just got to bevel the bottom edge. You know what I mean? The bottom of the notch. So there's airflow, extra airflow. Got my spindle starting to wear on top. Probably gonna shoulder it out pretty soon, and I'm gonna have to resharpen it. So let's try and do this quick. First time. Persistence. Set that there. Most fun you'll ever have in the bush. Just come out and try to make a fart with one hand and sticks. One arm hand. I wonder how that would go. Okay, I'm going to, oh my gosh, I just left all my dust. Crap. 
Well, nothing you can do about it. Just keep pushing, right? All right, let's go. I'm changing my direction because uphill is terrible for the bow. And here we go again. This was dirt instead of tall grass that got all over everything. It would be so much freaking easier. <sighs> this is about as mad as I get, so I don't throw things. I'm not, sorry. I'm not gonna get to see Chris going legion. You know. There's nothing you can do. Just gotta keep trying. These bugs are seriously sucking my life force out right now. They're killing me. Okay. Hope you can see this alright. Just letting you know I'm not cheating. I am. Doing everything it's supposed to. Don't arm. Should be so much easier with a pre made set. Struggling, struggling, struggling. Okay, I swear, this grass is killing me. It's literally taking my life and destroying it. Alright, we'll try it again. The back is killing me. Why did I think of doing this anyway? I'm not sure. I don't know why. I think this would be a good idea. Especially the top of the grass. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. This grass needs to go. Needs to go away from me. Otherwise, I'm gonna start pulling it out by the roots. I'm just pulling it out. All these grass. Love to see that. Destroying 
the little ones that get you. Especially like right there. It's so much easier to fight along the spindle too. As you can see, as I'm stroking the bow, it's tearing across the ground. That's never good, but I was in this field and the ground is extremely uneven. So I tried to get up on a hill, but it just sank in and it just didn't work. So I was forced to have that, but in a situation where you have to do this for real, you never want to hit the ground like that because that takes away almost all of your energy that you're putting into the bow drill. I think I have a number. I think, yes. Yes. Yes, we have a number. Okay, I'm going to be careful where I walk, but I'm going to try and bring the camera around. I don't want to upset it. I'm going to try and bring the camera around, like I said. I'm going to film with my left hand. If you can see that, that is pure bow drill dust. It's brown because it's probably a little damp, but I've actually never made a uh, bow drill set in the woods before and used it six. Actually, I've done it once, but I've never, like, successfully made one okay sorry about that guys um i tried to take a picture while we were um recording and i lost the video so nothing's been uh changed i got a good clear shot of the ember so i mean you can tell i'm not cheating i guess is what i'm trying to s i just used my left hand didn't i i'm going to set that back down my left hand. Am I injured? I'm sorry, it's just, I'm so excited. And, should take that. Ah, I think I'm out of shot. Hang on. I have one hand, so. Alright. I have to get this into flame now. I have to film the shot of it. This thing in the flame. So, just dumped it in. And it's smoldering now. I forgot to tell you, I picked up some milkweed uh, fluff. Okay, there we go. It's on top of this pile of shavings, I just put it there. Oh my gosh, the grass is in the way. But, like I said, I'm not going to make a huge fire because I'm in the grass. But, as you can see, this would be a sustainable, crap, sustainable fire eventually. And I'm going to build it up a little bit. Yeah, baby. One-handed bow drill ember. One-handed. One arm. I surprised myself. You know, I didn't think I could do it. I didn't think it was possible. For anyone to do, let alone Chris. But there we go. I don't want to catch this field on fire, so I'm going to put it out soon here. But yes, yeah, baby.
I've never seen that done before. Um, that if you want to challenge yourself, do that. Definitely do that. I took my bug net off. I don't know if I mentioned. I took that off when I was adjusting the camera and lost it. So there you go. Is that me? High flames. I think it is. I could always put the uh, hearth on if I wanted to, but I don't want to. So I can split this down more, make some kindling. I just uh, do a quick demonstration of that, and then we'll be out of here because I want to go inside and drink some water. That you've never seen that done, especially not by a 17 year old. It doesn't matter. It'll be 90 and still doing this stuff. Obviously, not gonna be doing quite as good as you were in your nine years, but it's still possible. Get a bow drill coal age 90, I think I might have to do that. Alright, gotta make more wood. All you gotta do is cut up that cedar and saw part of the way through it. I'm probably not in a shot, but I don't care. Actually, I do a hit. That's the whole reason I'm doing this. All you gotta do is hit it some more. Keep working it. You know what, cedar's a soft wood. I think it would burn straight like this. Don't want to actually smash my hand. I mean, it's coming. Let's throw it on there like that and you just build up around it with this crap and it would burn. I just didn't cut all the way or far enough through it because I'm still kind of weak from that fire. But like I said, I don't want to catch this field on fire. So we are going to take that off before it catches and smokes in my eyes. But it's definitely better than bugs. I hate mosquitoes. And with that, I am going to take my arm out. We're done. This shirt is absolutely soaked. Um, I'm going to take my string and both of these back home. These will go somewhere special because my one armed bow drill. Only one I've ever done. But yeah, I'm going to bring some water out here and put this fire out properly because it is in the middle of a grass field. I mean, the grass is green, but you still got to be careful either way. Um, there you go. One-armed bow drill. Success, baby. I tried this once before. Couldn't get it. Gave up. That was last summer. Tried it again this year. I've learned a few things, technique, and uh, I'll show you the inside of this uh, bow drill bearing block, fake bearing block. I mean, you could probably do this if you were really light, and actually I'll make a separate video on that. We're just going to put this player out now. So I'll show you the inside of it. It's a uh, charred, just like the fire hole. I really just called that a fire hole, didn't I? Whatever. Just like the, you know what I mean. It's all charred on the inside. Uh, just like the hearth board. But I'll throw this over there. Get it for firewood some other time. Take my string. 
Hope you enjoyed. This was about one of the hardest things I've ever done in the woods. So, my misery paid off for you. Hope you enjoyed. I never say this, but subscribe to my channel if you want more bushcraft videos. More hardcore manny, manhood bushcraft. I think that's it. Throw this over, get it for firewood later. It's not, it doesn't have any coals on it. Uh, this looks to be out, but I'm still going to come back with a five gallon bucket full of water and put it out. Because you never know. And I don't want this field all going up in flames. Number one, because it would be bad for the environment. I mean, this localized environment, not just the ozone or whatever hippie crap you want to think about. But number two, it's not really my property. So, yeah. I mean, on the other side of that fence right there. So, yeah. It's not technically my property, but I talk to the guy all the time, and he gave me permission to cut wood on this side of the fence. So, yep, fire's not out, but I'm bringing water back. Bringing water back. Okay, now we're just getting weird. I'm not putting this part in the video. I will see you guys later. Um, subscribe if you want. You don't have to. No one's forcing you, but it'd be great if you could. Watch more videos, and number one, just go outside. Go outside and do something like this. Even just starting a fire with a ferro rod. It's It can be challenging for some people, so don't get discouraged. Um, knowledge is gained through experience. That's the only way you're going to... Okay, now I know I've been talking too long. Bugs are coming. The only way to truly learn something is by doing. Because you can read all the books, watch all the videos, and still, experience is the best teacher.